So my man Ethan Becker did a bunch of videos where he showed you guys how to draw and use photo reference to solidify your drawings and make your anatomy more easier so you're not just going around figuring in your brain how to draw a character where you're actually looking at a reference of an actual image or a person or you can take photos of yourself and use that as reference when you're drawing now i'm pretty much going to be showing you how to do the same thing but we're going to be using photo references and movie stills to solidify our knowledge of lighting our choice of color and pretty much how we're going to approach coloring our image. Now, an artist that I've seen really do this a lot and nails it all the time is Victor Title. If you go over his Instagram account, you'll see a lot of different studies he does of photos and of different movie stills, of different lighting scenarios, just to pretty much enhance his understanding of lighting and form. And this is something that I feel every one of us should take away from this video. Oh, before we go anywhere, hmm, I've been thinking, I want to do this so I can see how much you guys have learned watching my channel, watching my tutorials, I want to see how you guys have improved. I'm thinking of putting the line out for this character in a Dropbox folder or on Google Drive and you guys can download it and call it with your own technique, your own style, using everything you've learned from this channel and we can see how much what I have been saying has impacted on your style and on your art. So I'm thinking of doing this. I don't know if this is something you're interested in. Just leave a comment down below telling me if you want me to do this or not. Anyway, I, I feel it would be a fun challenge. Just let me know down in the comment section what you think of this challenge. So like I said, I've seen a bunch of different artists just going into art, going into their image and they will have a character like this and they want to render the character. They'll just jump into the character without pretty much having any really base understanding of the lighting for how they want to uh light up their character and then they start guessing and pretty much end up making really bad decisions in their images now i feel like doing something like this using references using uh movie stills photos from pinterest to just push uh the lighting in your image is really going to help you to pretty much take out that initial beginning stage where you have to think of how you're going to light your image, what, where your light source is coming from, and it just makes your coloring process way much, much, much faster than usual. So I'm just going to show you a couple of images, a couple of screenshots that I've taken from movies. These are all from different movies and they're just movies that I've, well, this is from, that was from 300, uh, from the Terminator 2. I'm just looking at the lighting setups and I take a lot of screenshots from different movies and I use this from time to time. Sometimes I just study directly from the movie just to understand how they use their different lighting uh, scenarios, setups in the movies. And I feel like everyone should be doing this just from time to time to pretty much uh, understand how these movies use lighting setups. And I feel like using movies a lot will really help you nail your lighting because the kind of lighting we love to use in our art is pretty much what they're using in uh the movies so first things first when i bring in a reference like this first thing i do is understand the color choices the uh movie director is using so for here i can see he has this cyan blue green color right here and he's contrasting that immediately with this red that's hitting the characters from the face the same red is hitting this character right here but this character is uh framed a lot with this blue so you can see all over here is blue and the red right here and for this character is the cyan green and the red hitting him from this side another thing we can see is this green is causing a rim light right here on the side of his face on his nose his eye uh, a little bit around here and this other red light is probably coming somewhere from below here that's why it's lighting right here it's lighting under his uh, nose over here under his eye and and all these other places on his face now this is pretty much how i'll break down the lighting in an image and a reference that i'm trying to use and then i'll just take in all the information i've taken from here and i'll pretty much apply it onto my own character so i already have this character is is the uh character on my banner a lot of people have been asking me who this character is it's just a drawing i made when i was trying to create a banner for my uh youtube so like how we saw in our first refer in reference image i'm going to use the cyans and the reds and 
all the other colors that we were seeing there i'm going to pretty much use that to build up the lighting in my character now this is not going to be a full tutorial it's just me showing you how i'll go about using a reference to just uh improve the paste that i'll use to color a an image like this a character just make it faster and pretty much get everything out of the way now just like how our reference was i'm going to make my light hitting his face hits below him so it's probably going to be coming from over here too and i'll just select his face and just start uh coloring a little bit of his face i'm doing is just setting the uh, basic mood that i want the character to have and i'm not really thinking of the final look that i want the character to have i'm just pretty pretty much just setting the tone for what i'm going to use later on in the image i might even change some colors depending on how i uh push his forms push the shapes in his face i might change some colors the local colors that he has on his character now another thing i noticed was some of that light was also spilling into some areas of shadow so i might let that happen and also you all you also want to always be thinking about uh what material you're rendering and how much it will reflect the lights in the uh area your ambient light so for hair it's not going to reflect as much light as a as metal will reflect or as skin will reflect so you always have to be thinking of these kind of things when you're rendering your characters just to make it just to make your characters a little bit more uh believable and realistic and you can always go back and like take a look at the reference if you feel like you're getting lost in your image just to understand how they use it in theirs and how you can use it in your own image you can always go back and take a look at your reference photo just to kind of know what you're doing now that i've figured out where that light is going i'm going to uh put in the rim lights that was coming in from the other side and it was this cyan green and that's pretty much the color that i've chosen so first off i'm going to make it hit the blade behind him before i'll even start thinking of making it hit his face i just want to pretty much set up the tone for the blade behind him and then because i know it's metal i know it's going to reflect much more brighter so i'll have this side but not too bright i feel like it's beginning to get too bright and then i'll start rendering out the parts of his face being hit by this light now another thing i'm noticing is i feel like this light spilling on the blade is getting really uh distracting so i'm going to reduce the amount of that light i'm pretty much going to take it off and then i'll just introduce it gradually because I want his head to pop out much more than the blade behind him. So I need to think about uh, where is my focus in my image and then I'll render my, um, my elements using that information. And also another thing you might want to keep doing is just adding different textures in just adding different textures in his face like wrinkles folds and all that you can always do that when you're using your brush and if you don't know how to do that i've actually done a tutorial talking about uh textures so you can check that out somewhere on my channel
So yeah, that's pretty much how I set up using my reference just to help me color faster. As you can see, this really didn't take me that long to just set up a lighting to just set up the lighting for this character using this reference now i could push it further and do some different things on it like continue uh working on the detail and just finish the entire image but i will do that later on so as not to make this video longer pens up so that's it you guys will go out there and start using reference photos take screenshots of your favorite movies while you're watching them uh if you're using mac you can use shifts command four something like that i don't know but just take screenshots of your favorite movies and start using them to color your characters use them as reference for color reference for lighting mood and all that use them to color your characters and keep tagging me on instagram i love seeing all your work it's really inspiring to see that i can motivate uh a lot of other different artists who just chase their dreams and kind of improve their works and do all that good stuff so yeah uh hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't leave the video a thumbs up and i will see you guys 